All right, so I just wanted to see what it looked like with the angle. That is going to be nuts when I get it adjusted. All right, so I have a Q45 um, drift car that I'm building. Now, right now it has a Gloria front end on it. It's not the best, but nonetheless, here we go. I have a 2J in this motor. Now, I have some mounts that were made in they fit, they work, but they're a little bit off. You can tell the motor, maybe not on camera, is a little bit off. I got a lot of goodies. I got FDF. I got Neo Motorsports coilovers. And I'm just getting ready to finish this build. Um, full cage. Um, so right now, like I said, just said I'm getting ready to build, but I want to make sure I get some good mounts in the car. And what I have here is some calling adapters. Uh, motor mounts and I'm gonna test fit these to see how they work so as this process go on you will see me test fit this to see how it works inside of this car that's the goal all right so we're getting started on this build of a Q45. We have a lot done already. So tell the people what we're doing today. Today we are putting the seat on the floor, taking out the cat home. Because my fat ass is six foot six and 300 pounds, so I need to fit. Yep, the cage is a little bit intrusive, so it's not really helping too much. Some of the placement of things isn't really ideal, but it is what it is. Alright, so we got the floor cut out. I didn't get the floor cut out. Nick did. <laughs> uh... Yep. Look at that handiwork. That looks nice. Almost done. Not all done, but almost. Ready for a test fit. You can see exactly where the cage will let the seat drop down to. It'd be a charm if this is actually like over touching the pillar, but you get what you get. Yeah, building race cars, that is true sometimes. All right. So now I have the motor installed on a Q45 front subframe. I'm using G35 uh, JZ mounts. And as you can see, these are the call-in adapter mounts that I use to test this out. So I'm happy with that. All right, so now we got the seat in and just finalizing everything in here. I'm at the point where I have pretty much all my parts to finish this car off. Uh, so now the seat is done. Pretty much done for the seat. Um, next, we're gonna do the, the hydro, finalize that. Shifter is pretty much finalized. Now we're gonna check out the engine. Whew, that looks good in there. All right, so you saw in my previous um, clip that I was using um, some G35 350Z motor mounts. 
Now, if you want to use these in your car, these will work. Now, because I'm using a ZF Trans, you, if you're going to use the G35 350Z motor mounts, you have to reuse your stock motor mounts. If you're going to use a ZF. If you use a CD, I would use the G35 350Z uh, mounts. And because they sit a little higher, the CD will need to sit higher. So just use those mounts. So, yeah. All right. Well, seat is done, as you can see. Now we got Nick over here to tell the people what we're doing. Well, well then these new gussets. Since the last ones are made out of two plates and not really done properly, these will be plenty strong. We have CNC plasma cut star dimples. Uh, that's it? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Just got to make weld it in and work on the other side. And we'll have to fit the handbrake after it's all done. And yeah, that's pretty much it for me for now. Yeah, <laughs> for now. Driver's side is done. Nick is happy with that side. Maybe. <laughs> Not in yet. Yeah. Hey, Max, tell the people. Because you're going to be YouTube famous. Okay, guys, today we have this Nissan Gloria. State, uh, what is it? Set? Uh, Q45. Q45. Yeah. With the piece of <laughs> and Jay Z in it. Because we don't like Jay Z's around here. Uh, it's got fucking star gussets and the big boy friendly seat. All right, I've gotten to a point now with this car where it's time to paint the engine bay. I also have these uh, FDF top hats to help with um, the camber. Um, pretty much everything's finalized how I want it. I'm happy with it. And then inside everything inside is pretty much mounted i uh, did the dash i just got to make a panel for here um, shifters in hydro's done and you can see how much we had to drop my seat so i can fit because I'm six foot six. I am happy with how this turned out. Nick from Favor Fabs did a good job. And the seat is nice and lowered. It's secure. We did the gussets because the other gussets were just trash when they were done. Thank you. 